First it was albums, then it was cassettes, and now the compact disc is a music lover's dream. The CD player records a digital signal, then it's ran through an amplifier, which puts it to an analog. The result? It's very clear and very distinct. The discs have only been on the market for a couple of years. Now record stores are selling more than ever. They'll last a lot longer than an album and a whole lot longer than a cassette. A lot of things are out on disc now, a lot more than, than it was, say, a year ago. They've started printing you know, almost everything on disc now. They're selling much better than albums, but haven't yet caught up with cassettes. You've heard a lot about them, but do they indeed live up to their name? D stands for? Digital. I stands for? Uh, indestructible. Maybe. Now, we wouldn't want you to try this at home, but to prove a point, we decided to put the disc to the test. Ours broke, but if you accidentally drop them, they'll probably survive. Indestructible, maybe, but? Incredible. Definitely. S. Sound. And C for clear, but is it clear enough for $16.99? I think that they should come down in price. <laughs> people do get more for their money? I feel like they do. Because the disc, the disc, you never have to replace a needle on it like you do a turntable. So whether you just like to listen or disc o dance, the sound is very disc distinctive. Linda Edwards, New Center 12.